Is that a bit of a tactic within the team there oh, to give Hamilton a bit of a headache? Oh, I think it might. Okay, I was so confused what was happening there. I was like, what is what is going on? Well, that's really, really, that's really. What is going on guys, it is JJ here, back with yet another video, and today we are going to take a look, we are still venturing into our little, uh, little bit of the F1 moment, uh, we took a look at some crashes the last time, and I, I was absolutely dumbstruck, I don't ever, 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 ever want to actually have to go back and watch F1 crashes like that, especially the one, what is, what was his name, Grosjean? The one from very, very recently, where the car entirely blew up, it baffled. So instead, we're gonna take a look at the unsportsmanlike or, or angry moments from drivers. I think this is like the I think the video is called the top five most unsportsmanlike driver moments. Cause I like the beef, I like the drama, and I like to figure out who are the most entertaining drivers. Cause I feel like the troublemakers are entertaining. So you guys gotta let me know your thoughts on some of the worst unsportsmanlike or, or unfavorable or downright nasty, angry, bitter, disgusting moments in F1. So let me know what you guys think and let me know what races you guys want me to see because I get to see a race in its fullest. Like I watched Lewis Hamilton's first ever win. Um, and it was fun, it was a good watch, um, but it wasn't really dramatic. He was leading the entire time, it wasn't great. So let me know what you guys wanna see down in the comments below regarding F1 and let's get into the video. As well guys, you can find the original video just down in the description below. And he has spun coming down the They're hill. Stopping. Verstappen has lost the lead to Hamilton by spinning out. Here's the onboard. Down They're the right inside he goes. Other, right? What a idiot. What oh, he's pissed. Idiot. I think when you're a lap behind, you should not I mean, they be are attacking head to head. the leader. Right next to Does he turn the into a pack? Of turn two. Ocon's on super soft tyres. He doesn't really turn into him. He just they just kind of hit tires. Has anyone ever seen bro? Has anyone ever swung on anyone in F1? Because if they did, that would be tight. I definitely, like, I feel like drivers definitely do fight. ...had asked Hamilton to let Alonso through in the final part Alonso of the qualifying. Alonso Hamilton in the pit lane. However, he failed to let Fernando pass, despite requests from the team and the obvious anger of his teammate. Dude, F1 is crazy. The speeds they go with we are saw insane. We this with Ayrton, you know, the important thing was to be faster than your teammate. There's a psychological factor as well as a, the tactics can also mean uh, the psychological tactics. And I think Hamilton just wants to put down the marker. He wants to be in front of his teammate. Pole position here is putting you in a, in a dominant position. Very difficult circuit to overtake. And I don't know what the rules are about their, their tactics and fuel loads and stuff, whether or not he gets uh, an advantage by being ahead of his teammate. I don't know. Well, at the moment, Alonso having to wait again for the optimum moment to go out onto the racetrack. But he's definitely putting the harder tyres on. There's Lewis Hamilton queuing up behind him. And they've, have they raised the lollipop to let uh, Alonso out? Yep, they want him out of there. Now Alonso's what not getting doing? on with what it. Only happening? a minute 40 to go. Okay, is, is he blocking Hamilton here? Is that a bit of a tactic within the team there oh, to give Hamilton a bit of a headache? Uh, I think it might. Okay, I was so confused what was happening there. I was like, what is what is going on? Well, that's really, really, that's really up to you now. So we Chuck. could have been yeah. going that whole James, time. That was a little bit naughty, I way. think. But uh, we'll see. He's got time to get round. He was furious and went straight to speak with Alonso's physiotherapist, Fabrizio Bora. What did he just do to him? Why, why did he take his like pieces and stuff away? Was that like their little pit manager? Going into Dude, the last so race sneaky. with a uh, one point deficit to Michael is always going to be unfortunately putting you in the position where you've got everything to lose. And just blocks him off. Oh my god, and he flipped him. And his tire locked up too? He 
it's over now and uh, it's, it's a bit of a, an empty feeling but I think I gave him a good run for his money. It was a very great battle between me and Damon but nevertheless the feeling about the championship, winning the championship, uh, it's a dream. I don't get what happened was well documented. I was a when it came to fighting each now. other, neither would concede. Dude, this looks pretty tight. Careful, Sebastian. Careful. But the battle continued, and neither driver was willing to relinquish position. Are those the same car? They look like the exact same car. So the team so had teammates. to intervene. Sebastian, multi map 2 1. Multi map 2 1. And look after your tires. Not Sebastian, they need to give him the space. Hold position. This is silly, sir. Come on. I don't get it. Are they, like that. Yeah, <laughs> Okay, Mark, he was told. He was told. So they're teammates and they're battling each other. Bro, imagine going head to head with your racing teammate. Like, this is a guy that you're supposed to be, you know, working together with to win your, like, car and your team points. And you're beeping with him. Sebastian. I was really scared. They said, call the battle, he was moving, but I had to leave the line. To repeat, I had to get over the line. Mark made his feelings abundantly clear. Good job, Sebastian. Good job. Looked like you wanted it bad enough. Uh, still, there'll be some explaining to do. That was something of an understatement. I, I need to understand that one more. Some of these things I'm the getting. Weber's dad and mechanics had to settle for second. Like why did he why did he have to let him through on that? Like I don't I don't really get that. I I'm a little And the hot news from Suzuka is that Ayrton Senna, and there he is, is starting from the right hand side of the grid, much to his annoyance. The right hand side is pole position and the track is dirty there. Senna asked for the pole position to be changed from the left to the left. His decision, his the... request rather, was refused. And the result is that Alain Prost, starting oh, from second set. on the grid on the left-hand side, is actually going to have a start advantage at a circuit where passing is virtually impossible, except at the notorious chicane where Alain Prost and Ayrton Senna, both in McLaren's last year, collided, and we all know what happened subsequently. Ayrton Senna went on to win the race, only to be disqualified. Prost and Senna have made up their feud now, and we are waiting for the start of this 53-lap race. On the left is Ayrton Senna, yeah, really on the right sad. is Alain Prost, behind Senna is Mansell, behind Prost is Berger, the grid is clear, the lights go! And Senna sprints away, but Alain Prost takes the lead, it's happened! Alain Prost has taken the advantage, Senna is trying to go through on the inside, and it's happened immediately! This is amazing! Senna goes off at the first corner, but what has happened to Prost? He has gone off too! Well, that is amazing, but I fear absolutely predictable. What the heck happened? Yes, and that makes Ayrton Senna world champion this year. So Ayrton Senna uh, now with Prost not finishing the race quite clearly, he's out of his car, stuck in the gravel pit. That, I'm what afraid the heck to say, happened? is the end of this year's Drivers' World Championship in favour of Ayrton Senna. There's Prost running back, but uh, it's all over for him. Well, that was predictable, I'm afraid. So he just the took him out. The man who got to the first corner first was going to be the world champion. Having said all that, of course, we could have a restart to this race. There's That's two bizarre. cars in a very dangerous position. But that was so, it's so random. I don't even know. Like, I'm trying to see. Did he mean to crash into him? Like, it's the first time. He's trying to go through on the inside. It looks like his back tire, like, gave a... I, I don't know. I'm very confused. You guys need to let me know more about these moments. I'm, extre I'm extremely confused about the... Who is it? Schumacher won cheats like he because he ended up winning i think but like how did he cheat i'm very i'm very confused 
Um, this one as well, the multi-21, I don't get it. Please fill me in. Fill me in on the team stuff. It's a little bizarre. A little lost. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what else to check out in F1. And we'll definitely do so. Peace.